stripped away and I simply come longing just to
worship God in spirit and in truth, one of the main things that happens is that truth is revealed, is revealed to us as we worship God. I, I sensed as I stood there just a while ago with my hands in the air, worshiping the Lord that, that he was sharing today to us that uh, for somebody this morning, it's not over. Disaster is not your destiny. Disaster, uh, destruction, trials, tribulation, that's not your destiny. Your, desti your destiny is to be a child of the King, living in the fullness of the blessing of the King. Amen. We are a part of His kingdom. Amen. And we are victorious because He is victorious. So don't believe the lie of the devil that says... The rest of it's going to be bad. I'm going to tell you, the rest of it's going to be good. Amen. Give him praise this morning, if you will. Thank you. 
Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. No, no.
Jesus spoke and he said, peace, be still, peace, be still. That's almost like I believe he could speak to someone this morning in this place and say, it's okay. It's going to be okay, Sister Elizabeth. It's going to be okay, Sister Tina. It's going to be all right, Brother Donnie. It's going to be all right, Brother Steve. Peace. Be still. You know, if we don't watch out this morning, somebody in this place is going to get miraculously healed. If we're not real careful this morning, somebody's going to get their joy back. You just stay standing if you'd like, if you're able today. You just go ahead and stand up if you're able today. If you're not real careful this morning, revival's going to strike you and revival's going to strike me. We're going to get a hold of God. We're going to worship God. Our miracle's going to come to pass. A child is going to be set free. A grandchild is going to be set free. We're going to be set free. We're going to get our hope back. If we're not real careful, the way maker is going to show up in our lives and he's going to show out in our lives. He's just going to reveal who he is. He is the way maker. Amen. He is the miracle worker. Amen. Sing that for us this morning.
Chris Tomlin not in worship. And they, he had a guest speaker. And his guest speaker was, <clears throat> was telling the story about his friend's daughter didn't come home. And she had been out all night. And he said, man, I'm, you must be worried sick. And he said, I don't worry about what I can't handle. He said, I turn my worry into worship. And I thought, wow, how could you say your daughter didn't come home? I turn my worry into worship. And a couple of months later, we began to have our own trials and face our own battles. He had us in that way maker, and I walked out of church, and I left crying. I couldn't worship God. I thought, I'm going through my own troubles. It was like I didn't feel that he was worthy to be worshipped, or I didn't have a reason to worship him. And I left that day, and I walked out of this church. And God kept saying, worship me, worship me. I'll fight your battles. And that was the beginning of our battles. And I started walking in the mornings, and I was listening to that song about my pain anchor. And I told God, I said, no matter what you take me through, I want to have that unshakable faith Amen. and to worship you through my battles. And let me tell you, my battles begin. And I, they have not ended for the last two or three months. We have faced one battle upon the next battle upon the next battle. And there's been times I didn't know what to pray, and all I could do was cry out to God. And it was like, I'm just broken. He would just see my brokenness, and he'd minister to me. Last Sunday, they began to sing that hey song. And I thought again, Lord, I don't have really the reason to worship you. Am I everything in my life's not going right? And he said to me, it's not that you have something, but it's because I am worthy to be worshipped. And I begin to raise our hands. I have lost in worship. And he told me, you raise your hands and you worship me and I'll fight this battle for you. And then came, we had been reading the Bible and Moses, when they, as long as his hands were he was winning the battle. And so this week I've been determined that I'm going to raise my hands and worship. And I'm going to let God back this battle for me. Do I just taste a little bit of victory in this house today? Do I taste a little bit of victory in your life today? Hallelujah. He is victory. Amen. He is victory. If you study at Jesus as the Word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. The Word was God. The Word was with God. If you study that out, you're going to find out that the Word was constantly in motion. The Word is constantly in motion toward the Father. Today, as we worship, I want it to just be a constant giving God the biggest glory and the biggest praise that we could do. Amen. I want you to right now, I want you to reach over and I want you to lay your hand on the person beside you. Make sure you, you're, you're next to somebody. And we're going to pray. You say, I don't know how to pray. Well, you talk to other people. Talk to God. Brother Linda Lida, he tells us, he said, just talk to God. We're going to talk to God about the person next to us. You watch what's fixing to happen. God's fixing to move in this house just because you talk to him in faith. Just because you talk to him in faith, you pray, believing. You don't have to know what's going on with the person beside you, but you're believing. God, touch my friend, touch my neighbor. Touch my husband or my wife. Touch my child. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus right now, we come before you as we just, God, sent your presence in this house. We believe you even now that you would touch that one that's next to us. Lord, we ask you that you would heal bodies, that you would touch. Lord, some in here this morning, they need a touch, they need healing in their eyes. I ask you, Lord, today that you would bring healing to their eyes. We pray in faith, God, that you would just do uh, remarkable things in this service this morning. God, we pray in the mighty and awesome name of Jesus Christ, the powerful, almighty Son of God. We ask you, Lord, that you would just move in an incredible way, that you would reconcile, that you would restore, that you would, God, meet every need, supply every need. God, that one that needs a job, that one that needs financial help. God, we just come with childlike faith, believing you to do it today. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, that one that has given up on hope, Lord God, we just speak hope and we just bless that one next to us with hope and there is life and there is freedom. There is everything that we need in you. Lord God, we ask you to let heaven come to earth today even as we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are the way maker. You're the way maker for that one next to me. You're the way maker. You're the promise keeper. Woo, that is who you are. That is who you are. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how young we are. It doesn't matter how old we are. It doesn't matter how in between we are. Jesus Christ loves us. Jesus Christ gave his life for us. He died for us. He hung on a tree so that you and I could be free. Amen. Amen. Hell couldn't hold him. The grave couldn't keep him. Guess what? He's there for you today. He's alive and well right here in Mena, Arkansas this morning. He's alive and well in your life today. Woo. I wish somebody would just shout unto God with a voice of triumph. He is your light in the darkness. How many of you have been in a dark place this week? He's your light in the darkness. And, and wherever there's light, darkness can't stay anymore. Oh, somebody grab a hold of that this morning. Where there's light, darkness can't stay. Where there's light, darkness can't stay, Sister Rhonda. Woo. Amen. Give your neighbor a high five and say, that's good preaching and he's not even preaching yet. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, my God, that is who you are. You are my God. Amen. Sing that today. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. He is good. No, not one. But he is 
is good. I can't make me perfect. You can't make me perfect. You can't make you perfect. But God can make you perfect. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, through His righteousness, through His goodness, through the power of His blood. Oh, somebody preach with me this morning. What you doing? Oh, even when I don't see Him, He's working. When I don't feel Him, He's working. because that's one of my spiritual giftings. Sister Pamela is a gift of suspicion. I have a suspicion that sometimes we want to get a little bit loose and sometimes we want to get a little bit free, but we're afraid what's somebody going to think? Why don't we go ahead and get a little bit free this morning? Amen. What do you mean? I just wonder sometimes what might fall off of us if we got a little bit free. Some of those bad feelings, some of that unforgiveness, Oh, some of that resentment, some of that pride. It just might fall off of us. Oh, you're making me nervous now. You're making, preacher, you're making me nervous today. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. God wants to move in our lives. God wants to move in our church. God wants to move in our churches in this city. God wants to move in this state. God wants to move in this nation. God wants to move in this world, and He is. Amen. Let's get excited again. Let God fire us up today. Amen. Amen. Sing if y'all want today. Hallelujah. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working Even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working Even when I 
don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. No, you never ever stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop 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 working. Now like, this song has been in my head all week. Every time I practice it, I can't. And I hope and pray that that's how it is with y'all too. I hope you're reminded every hour of the day that he is for you and he is not stopping working for us. Amen.
you 